here at the ID Tech X. So who are you? I'm Alfred Poor. I'm the author of Health Tech Insider. It's an online site and newsletter about wearable technology for primarily for health and, and medical applications. I'm Dan Rosenbaum. I'm the publisher and editor of the Wearable Tech Insider, which is also about wearable technology, but for the whole range of applications, not just health tech. So uh, what's going on right now with this industry? Everything. I mean, Everything. I, I, as, as what are the, I've been saying uh, all week, um, I started off writing with, uh, for PC Magazine in the, the height of the, the personal computer explosion. With John T. Dvorak or no? I actually, absolutely with John Dvorak. Yep, yeah. Yep. Um, and had lunch with him yesterday, so that was yeah. a, a, I was a surprise. I know, yeah. I know. That's cool. So, um, uh, and the thing about that 30 years ago was this, this incredible excitement. There was an explosion of a new industry with all kinds of supporting technologies and, and things going on. And, and the problem is that excitement's gone from that market. Everything's commoditized. It's just not, not as exciting as it was. Well, I find that same vibe here with the wearables, the printed electronics, the 3D printing, the, the energy harvesting, all those topics have a synergy and, and work together in a way that's very exciting. We're in that explosive stage where everybody's sort of tripping over each other doing the same kinds of things, but there's a lot of really good stuff that's coming out of it. What's going on in the, in the wearable tech? Well, wear, wearable tech is also very exciting these days. Um, there are three billion people who have access to the internet, and there are a trillion sensors coming online this year. What's exciting about, about telecommunication, what's exciting about technology at all, is, is when people communicate with each other. And that's what wearable technology allows. It allows people to put sensors on themselves and make their lives better, understand their lives better in ways that are, are just unimaginable. And what's exciting about this show is you're, you're at, the, at the bottom of it. You're seeing the, the componentry, you're seeing the thought, you're seeing the people falling over each other and talking to each other and discovering the commonality of interests and the commonality of, of goals. So this is a really good show. What? Well, I, I, I mean, I would love to be a fly on the wall here because I have a feeling there's probably a deal a minute going down here as people are discovering that they have technologies that support each other's projects and need, you know, need what each other has to offer. Does this it's mean that, that some of the guys around this hall right here in this conference are like uh, in the middle of what's going to happen? Oh, in the absolutely. Future? Oh, I mean, the, the next Bill Gates is probably walking around here somewhere. Really? Oh, yeah. Who, which one? Which guy? I have no, if I knew that, I wouldn't be talking on the, this. I'd, I'd be over is buying him guy? drinks. And, oh, I don't know. And, and, Where has he gone? <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I, 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 I'd like to put you on the spot, actually. Sure, please. So the most exciting, what is the most exciting advancement that you hadn't seen before that you saw here at ID Tech? You know, if I would was expecting to be blown away by something, yeah. and so far I haven't. Right. Um, it, 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 you know, it's everything's been incremental from what I've seen so far. Okay. I mean, I haven't seen that one. Oh, by the way, that's the coolest thing. You got to make sure you go over to that booth and check it out. Okay. Um, uh, which surprised me a little bit, but um, but again, it's all new. It's it, it, it's what I would call very frothy. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of suds in the whole thing. And right. trying to find, you know, handicap who's important, who's who's got the development that's really going to make a difference. I, um, that the, the signal to noise ratio is is a little <laughs> low, so I'm not, you know, it's tough to pick pick the big story coming out of this. So yeah, I, I think at this point what we're seeing is we're seeing the engineering. Mm -hmm. We're not so much seeing the products. There's some very exciting products. I mean, the the, the folks from Sensoria. Uh, I, I've known for a couple of years. I'm very excited to see what, what they're up to. The folks from Clothing Plus, the people who are, who are assembling the technologies together into products is very neat. But by the same token, there are a lot of people here who are, who are, presenting, who are engineers presenting to other engineers. So today, that may not be exciting. Come back tomorrow, next year, and when that starts to, to enter the ecosystem and start being, being manufacturable, that's going to be cool. I mean, 30 years ago, Intel was a boring company. You know, it was a company that made microprocessors. Big deal. And now right. they're not boring then, anymore? Well, IBM PC came out, and all of a sudden they became extremely important. So, um, you know, you know they're, this hall is filled with a lot of future Intels. And it's also filled with a lot more companies that won't be here next year. And so that's part of the excitement and, and part of the, 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 the energy that, that comes out of all this. What, what do you think about the printable electronics? I'm, well, it's, is it cool? It's not only cool, it's essential. 
Okay, we, we're not going to get to scale. We're not going to get the lightweight, flexible, um, low-cost kinds of devices that we're going to have to have in order to make wearable sensors and, and wearable body networks disappear. I mean, strapping something on your wrist is invasive and, and obtrusive, and it gets in your way. Um, we're going to be talking, you know, in order for this stuff to really happen, to get that benefit for both the individual and for the, the whole community where you aggregate all the data, you're going to need systems that require more than an enthusiast to, to adopt. It's going to have to be something that just disappears into your normal life, and printed electronics, I believe, is, is the only way that we're going to be able to get there. And we're going to get also sensors everywhere. Well, going to oh. have sensors already are everywhere. <laughs> I mean, how many sensors are in are in your phone? I mean, you know, it used to be a phone was a transceiver for for voice, and then we got text, then we got a camera on the back, we got a camera on the front, we got accelerometers, gyroscopes, and you know, who knows what's all in there. So, um, the 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 sensors you know better than I, but uh, you know, the sensor market is probably growing ten times faster than the wearable market. Roughly, is that wearables. about right? Oh, it's not just wearables. No, it's not just wearables. But, there, there, but there, it, there's a whole a whole track here that that is really about eye beacon and location and marketing, yeah. un understanding where people are and where they're going and what they're doing. Um, that's all sensor driven. So it's it's about improving your life, it's improving marketing, it's about delivering information to people when they want it, what the information they want when they need it. That's all sensors. And it's it's happening in wearables. It's happening in cars. It's happening, you know, in, in smart homes. It, you know, we we want to know more about our the world around us, and the prices are falling so quickly, and they're becoming so available and so easy to integrate into in, into devices and services that you know it's just exploding. But and the, I, it's, the it's communication awful. the communication structure is in place. Right, it's here. We have the internet. We have Wi-Fi. We have we have beacons. It's it's now a matter of what are we going to communicate over that infrastructure. And that's what sensors are. I think the great thing about sensors as well, when you see the implementation that's going in, you think a heart rate monitor is just going to tell you about heart rate. But the great thing is when you put them all together, the, the total number of things, it, it's almost the whole is greater than the sum of its parts in such a huge way because yeah. the insight that you can gain from this, this huge number of uh, technologies so, being developed is incredible. To know where you are on the Earth is one piece of information. If you t know where you are and how fast you're moving, that tells you a lot more. If you know where you are, how fast you're moving, and in what direction, you know, that combination of three pieces of information is so much more powerful than any of the one that you have. So, so if you have something that can sense a dozen biomarkers in your sweat at the same time that's got heart rate and respiration rate, at the same time it's got body temperature, at the same time it knows about your gait and your motion, and, you know, with the, the forces on, your, on the bottom of your feet, you can extrapolate from that multiple sets of information in conclusions and, and, and analysis that you just could not get from any one or two or five of them alone. I mean, it's, uh, it, it, the, the power of additive information is just enormous. One piece of, of, of data does you no good at all. Five pieces of data, 10 pieces of data, 20 pieces of data, all about the same thing, that becomes really fascinating. To know that you can walk into a store and walk to, to, to this kiosk and your heart rate goes up. What does that tell you as a marketer? <laughs> right. You're on the right track. Yeah. We, were, we were speaking to people in advertising agencies. <laughs> <laughs> we were speaking to people in advertising and trying to, no, to give that a number uh -huh. in terms of a dollar value. And let's oh. just say it was, it was huge. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, this, this sort of, there is no question that the market is going to be and, and growth is going to be massive. And that value, Again, look at Google. I mean, that value drives so much innovation and so much new services and and value to the to the end user, the consumer who who doesn't have to pay money in order to get that. You know, to, they get the benefit without having to invest anything themselves. So, and it's um, yeah, it's amazing. Did you What's see happening. Googlers here? I did not see the Googlers. They, here. they have to be here, right? Coming with a Google oh, X project. Well, they Something, have to be here, but, yeah. Google, but Google has to be everywhere. Yeah. What struck me was that there was someone from Clorox in the clothing uh, sessions. Oh, wow, of course. Okay. Clorox cares very deeply about the maintainability of clothing. 
the, the clothing guys can say well, this thing can wash 50 times and that's great, but can and it if wash? If you put soap in it, but is it going to be a problem? Is, is it going to be a problem? <laughs> and, and if you put bleach on it, what happens? Chlorine, bleach yeah. on, yeah. on uh, electronic silver, circuitry? Silver electronics? That, that could yeah. be a problem. And they want to be here at the table discussing those things with the people who are making it happen. Yep. Cool. Thanks a lot. Okay. You're very welcome. Get what you need.